that Danny Maguire, the excitement building towards the weekend. Uh, what is it like? You've been in these finals before, but does each and every one bring the same sort of excitement and buzz? Yeah, I think individually they're, they're still special and it's a fantastic place to, to play, to play sport and you know, really privileged to be to be involved in this final now and um, excited. I think that's the, the biggest the biggest thing I can say is all the boys are excited and I'm looking forward to it. We've, we've been on a nice roll for, for the past couple of months, played some good stuff and um, we're looking forward to it again on Saturday. We were just chatting in the car on the way to Manchester and saying that you know, if you do win this, is it extra special because everyone was writing you off all season long? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, we have had a, a tough season. It's been very up and down and um, it's been very testing at times and um, you know, not many people believe we'd, we'd win at the weekend or you know win the previous weekend. So it's been nice to prove a few people wrong. But you know, at the end of the day, we, we, we've still got one more game where we want to go and, and perform. We've had some great young lads come through this season. Uh, we had to cement some spots in some positions. Or Ben Jones, Bishop, and Zach Hardaker and Chris Clarkson. You know, goes under the radar, but he's a real hard working forward, quality player. And uh, that's what the the big design is at least to bring the youth, bring the youth in. That's what. Barry McDermott does as a uh, youth development guy, keeps them guys coming through, but uh, I think the, old, the older guys have obviously had a big, huge part to play as well this year, and uh, you know, the, 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 the old, old heads of like JP and Kevin that have had to carry us through with some uh, wide words and decisions at, at times. You mentioned Hardacre, we were actually chatting about him a few weeks ago, and he is a player that on his day can be pretty special for you. Oh, it showed uh, over at Huddersfield there is. Uh, He's very two-dimensional. I think when he turns his body side on, he just disappears, and people struggle to tackle him. And he's very, very quick. He is strong for such a small guy as well, and he's got great footwork. And I'm sure in uh, his years to come, he'll, he'll prove to be a real good try scoring machine. I think his record's pretty phenomenal. It's like almost a try game or something like that. Mate. So all the best to him. We're just chatting to Paul Wellens with Sailens, and he was talking about their young guys as well. And for, for the more experienced player, it must be nice to kind of have the the, the, the younger lad next to you because he's still got that that hunger in his belly, he wants to prove something. And it's kind of that never say die attitude that's, about that's definitely uh, full of enthusiasm they've not had as many operations on the knees and uh, they haven't got as many body parts that have fallen off um, and uh, they're good quality lads and all and St Helens is another club that keeps bringing them young guys through uh, Law Max Foster and, and uh, Caskill you know, and there's a few more that have come through there and been, been outstanding for them and really been at the forefront I think they've probably jumped in at deep end and, and performed really well um, and credit to them as well because now, people have talked about us being under the radar a bit, but I think St. Helens have as well. I don't think people give them as much credit as they deserve for what they've done this year in finishing third, and they're still a very, very good side, as they showed against Wigan on the weekend. So, uh, yeah, real, it's going to be a real tough game this week, and uh, no matter whether they're young or old, they're experienced, every one of their players is somebody that we need to take note of and deal with properly. Now, tell me about that last game against Warrington and the club call scenario as well. Yeah. Does that give you an extra motivation when someone's turning around and basically saying, the weakest team is Leeds, will play them? Because <laughs> that's um, basically what you're saying, aren't you? A little bit, yeah. Um, there is a, a point in there that we um, we finished the lowest, we were the lowest finishers, and I think most every year that's been the case. Uh, so they were probably justified in what they did. Um, you know, and we, you can only play the cards that you dealt. We went over there and they, they, they'd beaten us pretty convincingly twice this season. Uh, they've been in some great form and they've played some unbelievable rugby, and uh, we knew it was going to be a massive game. And, no, it turned out to be exactly just that, and uh, it was a real tough game. As I'll tell you, it was, it was hard work. You know, from minute one right till the death, it was it was a miss, and uh, everybody had to put every last ounce of energy that they had in them. But it's a grand final that we were playing for, a uh, grand final place, and uh, that's what you need. Real tough games, and that's how it should be. And uh, we're happy for coming through that. And if we can get a result this weekend, it makes that even the more special. And games like we had at the weekend as well as what the playoff series is all about. There has been one or two that you thought a little bit too easy for, for everyone's liking, but that was real top quality rugby league. It was, yeah. Um, it was. And I think there's teams that have got players in there that can really step up a couple of levels in playoff rugby. It's a little bit different to the round and uh, the round league, um, round after round rugby league. So, um, yeah, and, and I think that pretty much showed with teams like Warrington and, and ourselves. We've got some all dead in there and can really battle it out. Uh, but as I say, they're wanting a quality side and deserve a lot of credit for finishing top and for some of the performances. What what they've done for Super League really, because you know with them and Wigan, they've, they've made it a, a much more dimensional league with the quality of teams that we've got now. You mentioned a lot about the experienced players though, and I think particularly through a playoff system, that is invaluable, isn't it? Because one or two clubs we see maybe Huddersfield just fizzle out a little bit towards the end of the season. It is about pacing yourself and peaking at the right time. It can be, it's definitely the way it finishes, isn't it? And uh, I remember once Jamie Peacock saying that 
three or four years ago and it's stuck in my mind. Um, and that's what you've got to stick hold of when you, you know, if, if you go through a bit of a rough patch during the season like we have, that we had done. Uh, and you've got to hold on to that hope and uh, keep believing, keep having that faith and keep working towards um, improvement. We always work, work towards perfection, you're never going to get there. Um, but we've, we've improved each week and got more and more confident and I think after you know, that, re that result against Warrington we can be as confident as ever that we can come here and we've got the ability to, uh, to go on and, and win a game but uh, having the ability is one thing, going on and doing it is a completely different thing altogether. Absolutely. It's interesting you said about Jamie Peacock though because I always used to think about the playoff system with Bradford because I thought they were very good at kind of getting it right at the back end but early part they kind of just went through the motions almost. So obviously that came through the system and it's kind of embedded I guess in someone like Jamie's head. Yeah for sure and you've got Jamie Peacock and if you want to talk about that side you know, you're talking about Brian McDermott's is uh, part of the awesome force about them. Uh, Jimmy Laws, you know, I was with Bradford back then, and uh, you know that that integrity and character comes out in uh, a lot of those guys, and they are solid guys, mate. And it's great to be around them. Honestly, it's uh, it's brilliant. Uh, real, real manly fellas, and uh, you know, for young Bramble lads, well, not so young anymore, like me, it's, uh, it's a great privilege to be able to go train there and, and be amongst it every day. I was chatting to Jamie earlier, and he was saying that he was quite pleased that they're there in the final, perhaps to just maybe silence one or two of those critics who've been giving Brian McDermott a little bit of stick early doors when he took over. Yeah, silence them a little bit, that's that's what sport's about, all the, all the drama, there a few upset people in there, but... You know, we can't worry about the external things, we just have to kind of deal with what goes on inside our club and with the players and the coaching staff and they're, they're very well shielded, you know, they've got some real integrity and uh, they never really let that, all that affect them too much. Uh, if anything you can use it as a bit of energy and a bit of motivation to kick on and do something special and, and that's what we're on the verge of doing. Finally, obviously it is a grand final, it's a huge occasion, you've been involved in big games before, this season you had one in the Challenge Cup, does that drive you on when you've had a setback like against Wigan, did that help maybe give you a final push towards the end of the season? Yeah for sure, there's a few setbacks I could mention this year that have probably been turning points for us and without those setbacks you wonder whether you'd have had that turning point and finished up where we are now in a grand final on the last week of the season, You know, having the opportunity to, uh, to have the last say sort of thing and... Um, they, they, they were big for us and I've always said that and, you, know, you learn probably a bit more from adversity than you do from success sometimes but uh, it, it, it's, it's great to be here on the last week mate, being involved with it back at Old Trafford looking at that Super League trophy that we've not touched for a couple of years uh, it'd be fantastic to take that home um, and finish off the season with a big smile on the face we'll find out the weekend whether you do that thank Cheers. you